Hi, I'm going to show you how to log in as an accountant or a bookkeeper into Verify and then being able to manage your clients. So I'm going to use an existing account. And the first thing that you're going to see that loads is actually my clients list. So what you're looking at is I have set up four clients, Century Lifestyle, Acme Company, Chromatica Industries and LC Construction. And one thing that I want you to pay attention to is I've got three people here. Now these are all fictional people, um, but I've added these individuals from my team to help me manage Acme Company. And the way I did that is by pressing this little button here, the little pencil, and I selected them, just like I can select Agent Smith. But you might be wondering, where did these people come from? These people came from my team. So on the far left, you're gonna see my team. Let's click on that. And here's my team. You're gonna see two people, with these are demo accounts, which have been disabled, but you see there are four uh, individuals, including me. So let's just go back to clients again. And so what that means is that once I've added my team, I can assign them to my clients' uh, uh, accounts. So they could log in and manage and do all the bookkeeping uh, for, uh, for the company. Now, before we get into managing that client, I just wanna quickly show you how to add a client. So right up the top, you're gonna to see a tab that says add a client. Let's click on it. And this is our standard form. So if I have a new client, or if you need to add a new client to your account, you fill all of this out, and then you hit add client. It's pretty simple. And so what you're gonna end up with is essentially this new client showing up in this view. One more thing that's important to sort of notice is you can see a green bar right here. This one is longer than this one, but this one has no green bar. This green bar represents how many transactions in dollar value there are inside this account. So what this is telling me that Acme Company is tracking a lot of expenditures. So that's a little tip right there. And then further down here, you can see that the company size is three employees. They have 1,300 documents and $74,000 worth of expenditures. So what I can do now is I can click on manage client because I want to go in and manage this account. You're going to get a confirmation box just to make sure that you, this is what you wanted to, want to do. And what the system is going to do now when I press OK is going to switch me over to this account. Now on the left is that familiar navigation that you saw. I've got different products that this client has got activated different dimensions that I can look at data through. And then you see that I am actually on the team as an accountant. And that's a very important point to note because what Verify does, every time you add a client, it adds you, the accountant, onto that team. Now this account, because you're the accountant, is free for you. You're only managing this account. You're not doing anything else. So don't worry when you see that you're on the team of this account. Okay, so now I have full access to all of the company's information, all of the company's documents. I can choose, let's just have a look at some old data. Oops. Now what's important to note is include team. It should always be yes. Otherwise, you're only going to see your own documents inside this company. So let's click on refresh. And there we go, right? I can see the team's documents. I can see Christina's, Jerry's documents, and so forth. And all I need to do now is basically just click on view, and I can start looking at the document, what's inside, what's been added. Now, all of these fields, which have these dotted underlined, uh, <laughs> what's a better way to describe it? Anything in blue with dotted underlines means that you can change it. So if I want to change the currency, I tap, there it is, right? Our control shows up, I can change the currency. It's that simple. So it's inline editing, as we call it. 
I can also change the vendor information. Um, I can have a look at the logs. So what was what changes were made prior to it and so forth. And if I want to get out of this modal, I can just press the escape button or the little cross uh, in the modal top right hand corner. This view is also important, uh, the documents view, because you can actually customize your columns. So, you know, it looks a bit busy at the moment. Say I don't want to see all of the columns. You know, I don't want to see the logo. I don't want to see uh, whether it's reimbursable. All right? And you can see what's happening now, right? The columns are shrinking in real time. Um, but have a look. There's a lot of columns that you can add in order to get that single view uh, uh, in front of you, right? And this is a lot easier to consume now as well. If I want to make bulk editing, so for example, you know, there's a bunch of food receipts here, but let's just say that these two food receipts need to be categorized with something different. I would press, like I did here, these little check boxes, the three of them, and then right up here, you've seen bulk actions showed up. And then all I need to do is if I want to change, let's just say the category, I tap it, drop down, I choose a different category. That's it, it's very, very simple. And the same applies for all of the other actions. So that's a documents view. There's also the bank feeds, reports, uh, dimensions, so if you need to set up categories or customers, job code, there's a ton of functionality. And what I recommend you do is reach out to us to verify if you're not sure what some of these categories are or have a look at for other videos where we explain in more detail what dimensions do, what products we support, what connected applications do, rules and so forth. So if you need help, you can always press this blue button and talk to us in real time. Now, going back to your own account, right? You would click on where it says Acme Company. There's a little um, icon that shows you that this is a drop down. And then we're just going to go back to, uh, I believe it was that one. I'm an accountant on this account. And that's it. So now I'm back in my own account. Um, and just like the previous account, you'll see that the left hand nav is very similar because my account I can also use for my own company. Uh, not just managing my clients' data, but also managing my own company's data. So I, you know, I encourage you to explore all the functionality that Verify provides and reach out with any questions that you might have. Finally, I uh, just want to point out one more thing. Um, if you need to log out, there's a button top right hand corner. The session will also expire within 30 minutes. So if you walk away from the screen, it will automatically log you out. And, um, and that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.